Insert the carbon tube into the tripod bracket. Rotate the tripod carbon tube to the card slot. Mount the tripod sponge to both sides of the carbon tube. Return the silicone set back to the top of the carbon tube. Place the top of the fuselage flat on the leg. Slip the tripod into the stud at the bottom of the fuselage and tighten the nut. Connect the 22.4G antennas to the antenna interface under the corresponding arm and tighten the nuts. Screw the RTK antenna into the interface on the arm. Arrange the fuselage of the aircraft. After the arm interfaces with the fuselage, it is good. Insert the arm straight into the fuselage mounting connector and tighten the screws at the interface. The arm is then sequentially inserted into the mounting interface with the corresponding logo on the fuselage. Open the battery compartment cover. Place the battery smoothly into the fuselage battery compartment. And secure the battery with a cable tie. Plug the battery power cord into the corresponding power connector of the fuselage. Cover the fuselage hatch and lock the locks on the fuselage. Unfold the ground station antenna bracket and lay horizontally on the ground. Twist tighten the screw to secure the bottom of the ground station antenna bracket. Pull out and secure the top of the ground station antenna stand. Screw out the fixed iron plate screw in the middle of the ground station antenna bracket. Mount the directional antenna retention plate to the fixed iron plate and secure it with a screw cap. Screw out the screw cap on the back of the directional antenna. Mount to the directional antenna retention plate and install the nut fixing. Mount the omnidirectional antenna to the top of the ground station antenna bracket and snap the omnidirectional antenna. Expand the ground station bracket and determine if it is stable. Align the groove at the bottom of the ground station of the Atlas Neo GCS with the wrist position at the top of the ground station bracket. Place smoothly on the stand and confirm if it jams. Remove the ground station by pulling the buckle at the bottom of the ground station with both hands. Install the omnidirectional antenna cable. Install the directional antenna cable. Install the remote control antenna and the wireless card separately.
First loosen the mounting screws on the fuselage. Attach the quick release module to the quick release installation interface and push it smoothly into the quick release installation interface of the fuselage. Check that the screws are tightened firmly. When the installation is ready, the pilot waves to indicate that it is ready. The pilot turns on the drone and waits for the star search. A rapid blink of yellow indicates that a star search is in progress. A slow blinking green status indicates that the search for stars has been completed. Enter the ground station. The pilot completes the route planning and uploads according to the requirements of the operation. The return altitude and speed are set according to the on-site environment. After the route plan is uploaded, check the relevant settings for the safety of the aircraft return. Pedal Wing Inspection The pilot ensures a safe distance from the drone. Check that the pedal wing rotation direction is correct. After the test is complete, the pilot turns on the remote control. Check that each lever of the remote control is working properly. After the inspection is complete, the pilot presses the start switch. Unlock the drone. The pilot maintains a safe distance from the drone. Unlock the remote control. Control the drone to take off. Accelerometer calibration. Place the drone to the left down. Place the drone to the right down. Place the drone head down. Place the drone head up. Place the drone bottom facing up. Accelerometer calibration is complete. Compass calibration. The pilot picks up the drone and calibrates the six sides of the drone. After the calibration is complete, the drone needs to be restarted. 